Life has a lot of rules. Rules for home. Rules for the road. And rules for school. Rules for the real world. And for the not so real world. Rules for dating. Which have sub rules. Which have sub sub rules. And sub 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 rules. We even have rules for how we see God. But what if there's a set of rules that wasn't meant to control us, but meant to free us? And what if that list wasn't even about rules, but about a relationship? It's time to go behind the rules and see the big deal about this list of 10. Hey you guys, welcome to the conclusion of our 10 series. Um, the past couple weeks we've been talking about uh, uh, how God wants to, to be the center of our lives, how he wants to, us to focus on him. And um, the la on this one we want to talk about our relationships, uh, how we should treat other people. Um, the last six commandments are all about how we should treat other people. Um, and you might be wondering why am I on a basketball court? Uh, well, when I was thinking about the whole relationship uh, part of the commandments, uh, it, it made me think about when I was in high school and how I used to uh, put other people under me. Uh, us as a team, we would put ourselves above others. We'd put ourselves above uh, even like the law of the school, if you want to say. Like we'd be walking the hallways when we wanted to walk. Uh, uh, we would make up lies for us to, to go see the coach or something like that. We'd put ourselves above everyone else. And um, even those people that didn't make the team, because there's only a few of us, there's like 10 to 15 of us and there's a lot of other people that didn't make the team so we would make fun of them or or if they wanted to be a part of something that we were a part of we would push them away um, and that's not how we should do things um, think about it as when Jesus was uh, walking the earth and and he would go and eat with sinners and prostitutes and and people that you know religious people didn't really like or care for um, but he was doing that because he was trying to get that relationship with that person um, rather than pushing them away or, or putting them below them and making them feel like they were nothing um, and that's how I should have been when I was in high school looking back now um, but just knowing that God really wants us to establish a relationship with people way before we tell them how to live um, I mean, that's very important. That's what Jesus did. Jesus did that all the time. He was very, uh, he, he, he focused on making relationships with people. Um, just knowing that every person has value. Um, sometimes we think we might be better than a certain person or that we can do things better than people, but we need to put value on each and every person. Um, I mean, there's some things that I can't do that there's other people that can do way better or things that I can do that people can do way better. There's value in each and every person. Um, we look at each uh, commandment, the last few commandments, um, looking at honoring your father and mother. This is the one commandment that had a promise to it. Uh, honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God has, has made for you. Um, it's the only one with a, with a promise. And you might be thinking, wow, just uh, honoring my, my mom and dad. I mean, it's very important to God. It's very important, so it should be important to us. Uh, the next one, you shall not murder. Easy enough. We shouldn't murder anybody. Um, that's just honoring other people's bodies. Each and every one of these is about honoring somebody else. Um, you shall not commit adultery. Honor marriage. It's easy. Honor marriage. So those of y'all, when you grow up and get married, do not commit adultery. Honor that marriage. Uh, you shall not steal. Easy enough, too. I mean, you... you don't want to go into a store and start stealing things. Honor other people's possessions. Uh, you shall not give false testimony about somebody else. Um, when I think about this as being a PE teacher, I hear it all the time. Oh, so-and-so made fun of me or so-and-so uh, was saying this about me. That's not the way God wanted us to treat others. They don't want to, he doesn't want us to create lies about somebody to put ourselves above them. Um, you shall not covet others' possessions or your neighbor's possessions. If you don't know what covet means, covet means uh, wanting something so bad that it messes up your relationships. Uh, think about it this way. If your friend got a brand new car and you wanted that car so bad that you just, you prayed or you just, you just really wanted that person to get a flat tire or for it to break down and when it did break down, you were happy. That's what covet means. You messed up your relationship with that person just because of something that they had and that you wanted. Uh, so don't covet uh, other people's possessions. Um, 
when you know when Jesus was walking the earth, uh, people would try to to catch him slipping or try to catch him uh, messing up in some way, uh, and some religious leaders back in the day they tried to tell they tried to go up to Jesus and ask uh, what's the most important law um, and I mean you're trying to catch Jesus you're trying to catch God in the flesh slip and I don't see like looking back now I don't see how you would ever think you're gonna do that but it was awesome God I, I mean Jesus pretty much smacked him in the face like giving them the, the response that they didn't think they were they, they were gonna get so Jesus replied uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. And this is, the, this is the greatest commandment. This is the first and greatest commandment, he said. And the second is just like it. Um, he wants us to, to love your neighbor as yourself. This is that golden rule. We, we learned this when we, were, when we were younger, when we were little kids. We'd learn about uh, uh, the golden rule, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. And, I mean those of us that you put other people down, we're not going to put ourselves down. So why would we do that to somebody else? Um, so honoring each and every person that you come in contact with. Um, so you think these laws or these commandments that we've talked about the past few weeks are to keep us from doing anything fun or, or for us to just be locked down all the time for, for God to put shackles on us and make us just uh, not do anything. But God made these rules to set us free. Um, you look at each commandment, and if you're not following those commandments, you're bound by sin. You're, you have the shackles of sin on you, and, and, it, and that's what he's trying to set you free from. Um, and, I mean, an eternity with God is way better than anything that we can think of right now. Um, that anything of this world that we think of right now, having eternity with God is way better. Um, so the takeaway for today is God places value, value on each person and desires everyone to be free. That's important. He wants each and every one of us to be free. All right. So is there somebody in your life or, or certain circumstances in your life that you need to fix? I mean, think about that. Pray about that. It's important. All right. So you guys have a blessed night and I'll see you later.